hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to make this very cute coaster so what you're gonna need is you'll need two kinds of color so one for the main color and the other one for the for the binding or the outside and then also I use this crochet hook which is 4.5 millimeters and I use this kind of yarn so it's a hundred percent acrylic and it's the chunk yarn Okay, and these are all the details of the yarn as you can see okay and also when I'm making this video I'm going to use a different color so I'm going to use the white color and the green color or the light blue color okay so let's get started okay, so first we're going to start to the magic ring and then six single crochets into the magic ring okay so we'll do single crochet one two three four five and six okay and then I'm going to pull my yarn to close the gap okay, and then put my marker over here okay so now in our second row we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches okay so you increase the next stitch okay increase the next stitch too and then continue increasing okay and then you increase in every stitch round okay so now in our third row uh, we're going to do single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around six times okay so we'll do single crochet and increase in the next stitch and then we'll keep repeating that so single crochet and increase single crochet increase Okay, so keep repeating that all the way round. Okay, so now in our fourth round, uh, we're going to do two single crochet, then increase and repeat like that all the way round. Okay, so we'll do single crochet one, two, and increase in the next stitch. And then keep repeating that. So two single crochet. And increase in the next stitch and two single crochet and increase okay and keep repeating that all the way round okay so now in our fifth row uh, we're going to do three single crochet then increase and repeat the same pattern all the way round okay so we're going to do single crochet one two three and increase and keep repeating that so three single crochet and increase okay and then you keep repeating that all the way round okay so now in our sixth round we're going to do four single crochet then increase and repeat all the way round so we're going to do single crochet one two three and increase and keep repeating that so four single crochets one two three four and increase
okay and keep repeating that all the way round okay so now in our seventh row we're going to do five single crochet then increase and repeat all the way round so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five and then increase in the next stitch and then we're going to keep repeating that so single crochet one two three four five increase okay so you keep repeating that all the way round Okay, so guys, now you understand how the uh, pattern is going on. So I'm going to explain to you the other parts. So now we are here on row 7 where we did 5 single crochet, then increase. Okay, so now in our 8th row, we're going to continue with the same pattern. So we're going to do 6 single crochet, then increase and repeat all the way round. And then in our ninth row, we're going to do 7 single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around okay so you can see the way uh, the pattern is going on all the way to the end so the next is gonna be eight single crochet increase nine single crochet increase and repeat all the way around ten single crochet increase until the last row where I did until the 20th row where I did 18 single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around Okay, so you can continue repeating this pattern uh, as long as you want your table center to look like or your doily to look like or also you can do less rows uh, depending on the size that you want okay so I'll see when you're done with the main white part so that I show you how to do the edging okay so guys as you can see I'm done with my base so I did a total of 14 rows okay so now we're going to start making the edges and uh, I want you to know that we have edges over here so we're going to use this uh, the corners that you can see here where we were increasing the stitches so we have one two three four five and six six corners okay because we're going when we're doing the edges we are going to increase in every corner around okay so now you're going to change into the to the other color yarn or uh, in my case it's the light blue yarn okay and uh, we're going to start uh, with the first row because the edges consist of three rows okay and in our first row we're going to start by doing a chain one okay and then we're going to do single crochet in every stitch around and uh, we're going to do three single crochet in the corners now because where we're starting is one corner we already did one single crochet so we're going to do two more single crochet in the same stitch okay so we'll do single crochet one and another one so that's an increase in one corner and then we're going to continue and do single crochet all the way around Okay, so when you get to this other corner, which is this stitch, we're going to do three single crochet in the same stitch. Okay, so we do one, two, and three. And then we'll continue with the single crochets.
okay and then again in this other corner as you can see the line here this is the corner we'll do another three single crochets so one two and three in the same stitch okay so you're going to continue like that single crochet and then when you get to this other corner you're going to do three single crochet in the same stitch and continue like that and here again do three single crochet continue and again here do three single crochet until we get here at the end okay so now in our second row uh, we're going to start by doing our we're going to do a row of half double crochets and we'll do three half double crochets in all the corners okay but first we're going to start by doing a chain two so this counts as the first half double crochet and uh, remember where we're starting we're starting at the corner so in the next stitch we are going to do three half double crochets okay so we'll do half double crochet one then half double crochet two and half double crochet three Okay, and then we're going to continue and do half double crochet in all the other stitches. Okay, so half double crochet and continue until we get to the other corner. Okay, so when we get to the corner stitch, as you can see, we're going to do again three half double crochet in that stitch. Okay, so we're going to do half double crochet, one, two, and three, and all in the same stitch. Okay, and then you're going to continue and do half double crochet across and three half double crochet in the corner stitch. And repeat like that all the way through so you're going to do three half double crochet here 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 in all the corners and single half double crochet in all the other stitches okay so guys after that row this is how it looks like so now in our third row we are going to repeat the same thing that we did in the previous row okay so we're going to start by doing a chain two one two which counts as our first half double crochet and then because we are starting at the corner we are going to do three half double crochet over here okay so we're going to do half double crochet one two and three okay and then we're going to continue and do half double crochet in each stitch Okay, so it's just like the way we did in the previous row. Okay, so you're going to continue and do half double crochet all the way. And when you get to the corner stitch, you do three half double crochet and continue doing half double crochets. And in the corner stitch, I uh, repeat again three half double crochet and you continue like that all the way round. Okay, so after the third row, this is how our table piece should look like. Okay, so now we're going to start with the fourth row and the fourth row is similar to the first row so what we're going to do is we are going to start um, by doing a chain one and then because we only start at the corner we're going to start by doing three single crochets in the corner so we'll do single crochet one 
two, and three. Okay, and then we we'll continue and do single crochets all the way around. Okay, so you're going to continue with the single crochet until you get to this corner. Okay, so when you get to the corner stitch, we are going to do three single crochets in the same stitch. One, two, and three. Okay, so you're going to continue by doing single crochet all the way, and when you get to the corner stitch, do another three single crochet, and you're going to continue with that pattern all the way round. Okay, so guys, after the third row, this is how our table piece looks like. So now we're going to start with the fourth row, which is the last row of the edging. And first, we're going to start by doing a chain one. Okay, and then uh, in the next stitch, we're going to do single crochet. Okay, so we're going to go into ne the next stitch and do single crochet. Okay, and then after that we're going to skip two stitches. So you're going to, you're going to count one, two, two stitches from the hook and go into the next stitch and then we're going to do a four treble. So for a treble you yarn over two times and then remember we skipped two stitches, one, two, so we're going to go here. Okay, and then pull the yarn through. And then you're going to yarn over the first time, pull through, and then yarn over, second time, pull through, and yarn over, third time, and pull through. Okay, so that's one treble. Okay, so we are going to repeat that again and do other three trebles. So we're going to have a total of four trebles in the same stitch. Okay, so we're going to create another treble. So two okay and another one three and the last one four okay and then after that after working the four trebles we're going to do a chain three so we'll count one, two, and three. Okay, and then after doing the chain three, we are going to go on top of the last treble that we created over here. Okay, and then we are going to do a single crochet. So we're going to go on top of the last treble that we did and do one single crochet like that. Okay, and then as you can see, it forms a little pie cut over here. And then again, we're going to repeat and do four treble in the same stitch that we did before the other trebles. So we're going to do treble one, and then two. three and four okay so that's how it's gonna look like okay and then after we're done with that we are going to skip the next two stitches so we're going to count one two and continue into the next stitch and then we're going to repeat the same pattern that we repeated we did over here okay so we're going to do single crochet in the next stitch so we we skipped one two and go here do single crochet okay and then after you do single crochet we're going to skip again two stitches Okay, and then after you skip two stitches, we are going to repeat and do four treble 
in the next stitch so we're going to do treble one two And then three and another one four okay and then after that we are going to do a chain three so we're going to do one two three and then off, on top of the last treble, we're going to do a single crochet. So, single crochet. And then after that, we're going to repeat in the same stitch and do again four treble. So, we do another treble. One. Two, three, and four. Okay, and then after that we're going to skip two stitches so you're going to count one two and in the next stitch we're going to do single crochet and then skip again two stitches and repeat the same process so we're going to do a four treble one two three and four and then a chain three so one two three and go on top of the uh, previous treble and do single crochet like that Okay, and then repeat again in the same stitch and do four treble. Okay, so we'll have a total of eight treble in the same stitch. One, two, three. and four okay then skip two stitches so one two and do single crochet in the next stitch and then skip two stitches one two and repeat the same process as we did here okay so you're going to keep repeating that all the way round okay as you can see this is the design uh, that's coming uh, on so this is called the cathedral edges so this the little um, flowers over here are called cathedrals okay so you're going to continue like that all the way around until you get here at the end okay so guys as you can see i've come to the end of the row okay so now i'm just going to make uh the last the last uh, cathedral edging over here Okay, so I'm going to skip two stitches and in the last stitch, I'm just going to do uh, the last uh, petal cathedral, okay? So I'm just going to do a treble, four trebles. So one, two, three. four ok 
okay and then a chain three one two three single crochet at the very end on top of our treble and then again four treble one two three and four like that okay so after we're done with that i'm just going to go uh, on to the next stitch where we started uh, the other pattern and then i'm going to slip stitch and cut off my yarn like that okay so this is how our little piece looks like it turned out very cute okay and then after that you're just going to do the finishing so you can continue pulling your yarn and then cut it off like that okay so guys that uh, brings us to the end of uh, our pattern or uh, congratulations you just finished your little centerpiece okay so if you have any questions you can ask in the comments below and I hope you enjoyed this pattern and please subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos I upload new video every week until next time, bye.